everyone! Welcome to Sonic Station, and today we are actually going to make a video that I really wanted to make for a really long time, which is basically a Sonic tier list. Yeah, it's a tier list, and we are going to kind of speak about some Sonic games, my favorite ones, and my least favorite ones, and I'm going to give you an honest opinion about what I think of the Sonic franchise. So if you really enjoy this kind of video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, also share this video with your friends, and don't forget to leave your opinions down below in the comment section. Now, without further ado, let's establish some rules. First of all, inside each tier, it doesn't mind the order that the game appears. So, for instance, if I have two games on the E tier, the first one isn't necessarily better to me, this is just kind of an arbitrary order, otherwise I will be here really for a long time and we really don't want that to happen. Secondly, uh, my opinion is personal, so you are free to share your opinions in the comment section below. And third and most important, I haven't included compilations aside from Sonic Jam, because Sonic Jam provides a 3D gameplay that is different from other games, and I haven't really separated them in different versions except if they are really different games. So for instance, I don't have the, all the ports from Sonic 1 and all the ports from Sonic 2 and differences like the adventure, Sonic Adventure from the Dreamcast or Sonic Adventure for Steam. I really don't have those differences. I'm going to speak about the differences and going to give my opinion but I really don't have that separated, otherwise we would be here for a really, really long time. So, before we start, you can already see that I have a section that says never played. So I decided to separate some games, I really don't have much to speak about them, and <laughs> it is what it is. So basically, for starters, I have chosen to join the Sonic Cafe, which was a service in Japan, so I really didn't have those. I separated Sonic at the Olympic Games and at the Olympic Winter Games. Winter Games was uh, iOS exclusive, if I'm not mistaken, and the Olympic Games was for Java mobile phones. And I really didn't have any of those games, so I joined some others just like Sonic Kart, Sonic Kart 3DX, Sonic Jump and Sonic Jump 2, the Sonic Jump is actually the original one, Shadow Shoot, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing and Runner's Adventure, the Java version, which I didn't know before this video that they existed, we have uh, here something that everyone wants, which was basically a Chow Garden for mobile phones, Please, Sega, make that for Android and iOS. I mean, I'm waiting. <laughs> now, we have also some educational games, just like Sonic DG, Tales Music Maker, Sonic Game Land, Wacky Worlds, Sonic Schoolhouse, the three Japanese arcade games that I really didn't have any access, Sonic Jam, the compilation for Sega Saturn, and another version with the same name for games.com that everyone says that is trash and <laughs> maybe this will become some special gameplay please don't please don't support this we actually have here another one which is Sonic Dash S which was a special version of Sonic Dash that had a story mode and even more features but I'm going to make a video a separate video speaking about this and we have a bunch of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games the only exceptions are the Android version uh, and the iOS version that came out recently, Sonic at the Olympic Games, and the DS version of Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. And we also have Sonic Racing, since it is an iOS game, I never played it, and it is also linked to Apple Arcade, so yeah, that's basically it. Now without further ado, let's move this up front and start with Sonic the Hedgehog, for the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. And my ranking for this one is actually kinda hard, I really like the first game, but it is, this version is not the one that I really love, so I didn't grow up with this one, but uh, it's hard, it is more or less between the B and the A for me, but for starters I'm going to give it an A, and I will explain why. I love Sonic 1. 
Sonic 1 was the start of the Sonic franchise, as we all know, and I really find it charming. Well, it doesn't control as well as some games that came out after, but it really has some neat ideas. Green Hill Zone is still iconic to this day for some reason, and I really like the speedy sections, but I also like the balance between speed and platform. Here it was made more separately, so for instance you have a speed zone just like Green Hill, and you go to a more platform heavy one, just like Marble Zone. And then you go speed uh, through Spring Yard, Labyrinth, well, you get the idea. Of course, Labyrinth Zone is not the best one, <laughs> especially the boss. Yeah, the Attack 3 it's, it's something that I still hate to this day. But I really like the game and I think that it is charming. I don't necessarily think that Sonic is only good when we have speed sections. However, I might review this to be, I'm re I really have doubts, but we will go making this tier list from, from time to time and we will update this. Also, speaking about Sonic 1, there are many ports, way too many. Never play the GBA one called Sonic Genesis, and my favorite one, it's the one made by Christian Whitehead, the remaster. Now, let's move on to a game introduced many to Sonic the Hedgehog, which is Sonic 2 of the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. Sonic 2 is a really iconic game, especially, well, Everyone that I know here from Europe had this when they had the Sega Mega Drive. And here it is really good because it had the Spin Dash, an iconic move to Sonic, it had a sidekick, Tails, a multiplayer mode, more zones, less acts, special stages that are actually better than the special stages from Sonic 1. Everyone complains about the half pipe because if you have tails, you lose rings, but <laughs> that's really wrong. You only lose the rings that tails got, not the rings that you got. So I really don't like that complaint, and I really don't agree with it. It has an epic finale for me, and I really like the game, and I think it's a really nice game. However, I think that the speed is way too much on this game. Still, if you have muscle memory, you can turn around it, so I will give it an S for now. Uh, also, I would like to add there are many versions, for me the Christian Whitehead is still the best one, and I would like to add that if you joined the Sonic & Knuckles cartridge with the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 cart cartridge, you were able to play with Knuckles, which was a really nice add-on, and I really like this. So, next game is actually Sonic 3, and everyone might be saying, okay, it's Sonic 3 and Knuckles, we all know that. However, I'm going to classify these games in a different way. I'm going to classify as a together and as a separate, and why is that? Because I grew up with a collection that was called uh, Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, and I think that it was called in the America Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection. It was for the PS3. And the problem is that that version didn't feature the lock on technology. So I only played Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as a game, and Sonic and Knuckles as another game. So <laughs> they were separated. And only in the future did I find out that they could be played together, and for me, since I played so many times Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and Knuckles separate, I decided to make this list more personal and classify them as separate games. So, in terms of Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is a really nice game, it has cutscenes, it has a better moveset, it has some iconic zones for me, but it is really not my favorite, however the save system was great, so I'm going to put it in A. I think that the final boss is a little bit underwhelming, I don't like Marble Garden, however I find that zone nice, and then there is the Barrel of Doom that everyone has problems, and I really never had a problem with that, I don't know, maybe when I wanted to jump high and low, I really press the up and down buttons, I don't know. For me it's a good game, I really liked it, and 
I think it doesn't deserve S because it is way too short, despite all the work that it has, and the, the finale is not really that good. Also, this version only allows you to play as Sonic, Sonic and Tails, and Tails, and despite having the flight ability to Tails, I don't feel it's really that good enough, so we are going to put it in A. Next up, Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic and Knuckles is a nice game on my book, but it is going to get the B rank. And why is it getting a B rank? Well, for starters, if it is played as a separate game, you don't have safe, a save system, which is kind of bad since Sonic the Hedgehog 3 had a save system, and Sonic the Hedgehog 3 actually had a multiplayer system. And this doesn't have that. So, for starters, is this. And the second one, it's about the zones. I really am not fond of the zones. I like Flying Battery Zone, but I hate Sandalpolis. I don't I'm not really in love with Mushroom Hill. And yeah, I think that the zones are not the best ones, to be honest. I like the visuals of Lava Riff, but it is not really an interesting per se stage for me. And while I like the death tech and I like the depth, I really feel short. I don't know, it's just it always felt wrong to me, Sonic and Knuckles alone. And I know that it, ha it has a different story with Knuckles, and you can play as Tails with this one, so my verdict is going to be a B, because I think that it feels has a continuation of Sonic 3, and not as an isolated game. Well, next game is Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and what can I say? It joined the two games, and you have the best of both worlds, the story feels more completed, everything feels better, you have 14 special stages, you have Hyper Sonic and Hyper Knuckles, and finally Super Tails, and you have, you have really an epic game with an epic journey, so there isn't really that much to speak about, I'm going to put it in order, otherwise everyone is going to criticize me, and well, Despite not having a mobile version, you have uh, Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited, which is, acts mostly like that. And yeah, I think Sonic 3 and Knuckles is a really, really solid game, and I really love it. That's my opinion. Next up, it is Sonic CD. Sonic CD is amazing, however, it's going to get a B rank. And why? I think that this game is focused on exploration, but personally, I really don't like the way they make it. The time travel system is a bit confusing, for me at least, and despite you, you are able to get the time stones, it really doesn't help much, to be honest, and yeah, I never felt in love with this game. So, I don't know, I think that Christian Whitehead made the game playable on Sega CD, it was really not that good, and I really like the animated cutscenes, it's iconic, it's really cool, but I don't feel that need of 100% completion, so yeah, that's mostly it, and I like that Tails was added, but still, not a game that I'm fond of, it feels really confusing for me, this, the stage structure, and for me it's going to get a B rank only for that. Also, we remember the differences in past and present and future, but for me what really makes this game iconic are the appearance of Amy Rose and Metal Sonic, and that boss fight alone really makes it way upbeat and start a speedway they are really the soul of the game for me. At least for me, I'm sorry for Sonic CD fans, I really like the game, but I really don't love it per se. Well, next up is Knuckles Chaotix. Knuckles Chaotix is a really complicated game because I tried to play it many times. I'm really not fond of the co-op system, but I haven't really completed it. My grade will be a C, if, uh, from my experience at least for now, but I really 
haven't played it much, so I don't want to give it a, a rank, and I'm going to put it in Never Played, only because of that. Next up, Sonic 3D Blast. Everyone complains about this game. I know that the isometric view is not great, I know that it is not a really nice game, but it is not an E rank or a D rank, it is mostly a C rankish. Yeah, it's a C rank. For me, it's a nice game, I mean, it's not the best one. The OST on the Saturn version, for me, it's incredible, and I really love the special stations in the Saturn version. The Genesis version, or Mega Drive version, is also cool, I really like the game, uh, but still not the best one. The flickies can be a bit conflict-heavy in terms of structuring things, so I understand why people don't like it. And the special stations in the PC version, which I have, but I really don't have it anymore. <laughs> they are really not that good. That's just what I'm going to say. For me, C rank, if it was only about the the OST, it will be B, but we will put it in C. Next up, Sonic the Fighters. I actually played this game quite a bit on my PS3. I liked it, but it is, at least for me, not that depth of of a fighting game, I played with some friends, and yeah, that was mostly it. I made some online battles, it is a competitive game, but a, a fun game, but competitive. It was made for arcades, so I'm really not expecting much on content. I will put it in C rank, I really don't have many feelings about this one. Sonic R, oh boy, oh boy. Sonic R. This is, this is an hard one, I'm going to put it in C, in terms of gameplay, it's a D or an E, trust me, it really doesn't play well, but it has some charm to it, I don't know, the OST and having the those cheesy songs really makes it feel special for me, I really don't know why, but I really like it, uh, what can I say, and I play this on PC, I play this on on my PS3, which was the version of Sonic Gems Collection, and I really had fun playing it. It's not the best game, but it is a fun little game. I also made a mod for it, and I really liked it, so I will pull out it in C, <laughs> despite not being a competitive racing game, more like a fun game. If it was paid by $60, sorry, it's an E, but I will put it in C. Now we get to my one of my favorite ones, one that made my childhood, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Sega Master System. This is a B for me. I really love this game, it is quite slow, which really doesn't help much, uh, but it is a really fun game. It was my first introduction to Sonic, so I have nostalgia for it. I love the OST. I love the different zones, I think that it is a really nice adventure and a really nice challenge, half an hour, 40 minutes, you can really complete it, and I really like it, so I will put it in B. This is my childhood, and playing the Creative Araya version is, is, kind, of a, is kind of a dream, and being a bet tester is even more, so we will move on to Sonic 2. For the SMS and this one this one I'm actually going to put it in C rank and you might ask why does Sonic 1 gets a B and Sonic 2 gets a C one simple reason hang glider yeah I really hate that on the original game I think the original game is really hard with no reason at all for it um, Tails dies, supposedly, on the bad ending, and I find the locations of the Emeralds way too off, so I think that they just made Sonic 1 harder and less enjoyable. Also we start with Underground Zone, which is kind of an underwhelming zone for me, 
I don't know, this game doesn't captivate me as much as the first one, and I think the first one has better quality, <laughs> sorry fans of the Sonic 2, uh, but if, it, if this was the SMES remake, for me it would be an A, because it improves a lot, and that's basically it. Sonic Chaos. Sonic Chaos is a B rank for me, I like the game, I think it's way too easy to be honest. I think it's a nice game, but it is more about the col collecting the Chaos Emeralds more than making an adventure. It's a fine Sonic game, and I like it. It has Tails playable, despite his flight ability being way too off. But I like it. I mean, I really don't have much to say. I haven't played this title a lot, but I really preferred it over Sonic 2 on the SMES, and yeah, that's basically it. Sonic Triple Trouble. Triple Trouble is, for me, the refinement of the Sega Master System games, despite being released on the Game Gear. I like it, I think it's original, I like the premise, you can play as Sonic and Tails with nice abilities, I really like it, I will put it in B rank, I think it's fun, and that's basically it, I really don't have much to say about these games. On the other hand, Sonic Blast. Yeah, more like Sonic Blast. I know, not a good joke, but this is not a good game. I mean, visually it looks horrible. Gameplay-wise, it doesn't play really that well. I don't like the story. I don't like many things about this game. You can play as Knuckles, but it is so bad. There is a version to the Master System only in Brazil, which would make me go to D if it wasn't really bad. I'm sorry, Sonic Blast. You're going to be our first E rank. I really... I don't know. I feel bad for this game. I... I have no words. If you can, avoid it, but if you are a Sonic fan, try it to see how it is. I think that Triple Trouble was on the right way, and then Blast just ruined it. Sonic Spinball. I'm not, mm, not that much into pinball games. I played Sonic Spinball, didn't find it any special. Maybe it's because I'm not into pinball games. Uh, it is a mediocre game for me, not a C rank. Maybe a D rank. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is just Puyo Puyo. I like the concept, but it is kind of weird. But since I like Puyo Puyo, I'll put it in C rank, just for no apparent reason. And yeah, that's going to be it. Now we have Sonic Labyrinth, and Sonic Labyrinth is an E rank because I played it and I got the power up where you are invincible or faster. I really don't remember. And it really hurt my eyes, that's the only reason. I, I don't like the game, sorry guys. For those that like Sonic Labyrinth, I, I don't like the game, I think it is confusing. Maybe if it was another character, but nah, Sonic Labyrinth, it's not my thing and it will never be. Now we have two, Sonic Drift and Sonic Drift 2. I'm going to put Drift 2 in D and Drift 1 in E. I don't like these games, I feel they like they are underwhelming. Sonic Drift 2 actually has a good concept of zones. Sonic Drift 1 kinda uses old concepts, but Sonic Drift 2 is better than the first one in everything. That's why Drift 1 was a Japan exclusive. That's why I'm why I'm ranking this in this way. I actually played both because I had only Sonic Drift for a long time on the Sonic Mega Collection Plus, then I received the, gem, the Gems Collection, so I got to try out the two. So, yeah, it's basically it. Those are my ideas. Now, Tails Adventure and Tails Sky Patrol. I like Tails Adventure, I think that it is a solid game, maybe between the B and the C rank, but I haven't played it much, so I will do the same as Knuckles Chaotix. And Tails Sky Patrol. Uh, not my favorite one, I found it a bit confusing, maybe between a C and a D, but once again, I will put in Never Play, because I really haven't had much time to play these titles, 
and I don't want to be unfair to this, but I really haven't had much time and I haven't played them that much, so it is quite unfair to classify these games. Now, I'm actually going to move a bit outside with Sonic Eraser, and Sonic Eraser is actually a game that I have played on emulators quite some time. For me, it's a worse Mean Bean machine, and it deserves E. I don't like the OST, I don't like the game, I don't like anything about it, so yeah, it deserves a T. Uh, an E rank. On the other hand, we have Sonic. Uh, Sega Sonic Bros, I think, which is a, a C rank for me. I like the game, it was released recently to the public, and I played the Mega Drive version. I found it interesting, and I liked it, so yeah, I'll put it in C. Maybe it will go down to D rank, but for now, it will be a C rank. Next one is Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. For me it's a really nice arcade game, I played this one quite some sometimes, I liked it and I will put it in B rank because I think it's solid, it's fun, it's made to steal your quarters, but it is a really fun game, it, it introduced Mighty and Ray, playing on multiplayer is fun and I really liked it, I played on an emulator, just for us to be clear, but it is what it is. Now we have Sonic Pocket Adventure. Sonic Pocket Adventure is kind of like the Sonic 2 light side of things. I would put it in A, so I will put it in B, and I will explain why am I putting in B rank. <sighs> Sonic Pocket Adventure only has one chance to get the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah. It's just that. It's a really nice game, but that one chance really blows the game for me. I like the game, but I really don't have a reason to play it if I can play Sonic 2. It is more or less like an hybrid of Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. However, we have a really nice ROM hack that I will put in A, which is Sonic uh, Pocket Winter or Winter Pocket. I think that it is Pocket Winter, but for now, Pocket Adventure is a B rank, it's a solid game, and that's just that. Now, moving on to, to the 3D era. Sonic Adventure, amazing game, the transition to 3D was smooth, I played it only some time ago, for me, it will be an A rank to be honest, because I didn't feel that much of a connection to the game. But considering what everyone says and what everyone feels, for me it's an S rank, it allows you to explore hub worlds, it has 6 gameplay styles, while not the best ones, I felt invested in the story, I felt invested in playing it, everyone says Big the Cat is awful, they are all wrong, Big the Cat rules, we all know that, but now with all honesty, I completed Big the Cat's story in what, 20 minutes the first time I played, so I really don't have something to blame about it. I really like it, the story is cool, while I don't like Chaos as a villain, I like the concept and I thought that it was cool. I like all the, all the 2000s feelings that the game has, I, I just like Sonic Adventure, I couldn't really give it a rank below S, and with that said, Sonic Adventure 2, for me, it's better than Sonic Adventure 1, and those that don't see it are just fools. Sorry guys, despite not liking the changes in the Emerald Radar, and not liking how the mechs feel, at least for me, worse than Gamma, Sonic Adventure 2 ju just rocks. It has an amazing shonen story, and I like that idea of having a more intense story in Sonic games, I like how wacky it is, I like the feeling, Ryan Drummond, it's amazing on this game, at least for me, he really nails it, and I like the interactions, I like everything about this game, when I played it, I really couldn't stop, and I 
I don't know, I don't miss the hub worlds on this one, which is actually weird because I really like the hub worlds on Adventure, and I would think that I would miss the hub worlds, but I actually don't, and yeah, I don't know, Adventure 2 for me is a special game, and yeah, that's just my opinion, I like it, I love it, it feels 2000s, it has live and learn, it has so many things coming up for it, it has a good shadow which later actually gets ruined, but it is what it is, I really like this game, S rank for me, without a doubt, and we are going to move on to my childhood on the PS2, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Heroes is an A rank for me, I really like Sonic Heroes to be honest, a team game but an easy game, it has only one playstyle, don't call it 12 playstyles, no no no, it has one playstyle with some slight changes, I like the concept of a team, it was amazing living this time, and it was, for me, the best Sonic era, at least here in my country. It was amazing, everyone had this game, everyone played this game, we all shared tricks with each other. For me, the zones are still iconic, and for Sega too, I love the atmosphere, I love the art style, I love everything about this game, except Tails Voice, for God's sake, what have they done to Tails Voice? Tails voice was horrible, and since I didn't have a memory card when I was young, I would always play Team Sonic Story and listen to Ryan Drummond saying, Yo Tails! Long time no see! And that will really make my day. It was amazing seeing Sonic running, on a, running backwards, everything. It was a really iconic game for me. And I like it, and I got used to the gameplay style, except for the Chaos Emeralds, the special stages for me are just awful, and I really like the game, what can I say? I'm sorry guys, maybe this is fanboying, but Sonic Heroes is for me an A rank at the same level as Sonic 1 and Sonic 3. Yeah, I think it's fair for me. Shadow the Hedgehog, it's not a bad game. The problem, it's its story, and the fact that you have to play it 10 times, and that it is boring, and a lot of that doesn't really help out. Hi, 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 ah, Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm sorry dude, you are going to get the D rank, not E, because I think there is a small portion that might like this game, but the D rank. Also, the guns, the guns are not adequate in the Sonic game, but they actually work fine. So, yeah, a D rank. It's going to be a D rank for me, at least. It's a D rank because I played the game, and it is bad. On the other hand, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. I played this game, guys. I played it. I played it on my PS3. Is it broken? A lot broken. Is it unstable? <laughs> really unstable. Do I like it? I like the Shadow and Silver story. I think they are fine. I think they are great. But the controls, Jesus Christ, it doesn't feel like a Sonic game. For me this will be a E rank, but I like the story of Shadow and Silver. I like, I don't know, uh, it's hard for me, uh, this game is an, is awful to play, but uh, it has something, it has something for me, it has an amazing OST, it has Shadow Story in a really nice way, just like Adventure 2 Return for me, it has Silver Story. It's for some reason has plays the cat. I'm really not giving uh, crap about the continuity. I, I I like Sonic. I like Sonic 06. It's not going to be an E for, because of that. It's an uh, D rank. We are going to put it D rank. Is it better than Shadow the Hedgehog? <laughs> not even by a mile. But the gameplay is better than Sonic Blast, guys. I'm sorry. Sonic 06 is getting a D rank here, just because I want. And that this is my list, so. Yeah, it's getting a D rank. Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed, guys. 
Sonic Unleashed is a game that I love. Everyone criticizes the Werehog. I like the Werehog gameplay style. I'm sorry, I love it. The Japanese name is Sonic World Adventure and it feels for me like a world adventure. We are speaking about the PS3 and Xbox 360 version. And I love this game. I really, really, really do love this game. I think that it has an amazing concept. It was the last amazing Sonic game made by Sega in a complete way for me. In a complete way, I repeat, in a complete way. It had hub worlds, it had amazing stages, it introduced the boost formula while not the best one. When you play it and when you watch someone play it, it's a really delightful show. It's had everything. The Warhawk is cool, but in the PS3 and Xbox 360 version, there is a lot of fighting. For God's sake, I'm really sick of listening to the Warhawk battle song. Really, for God's sake, guys. I don't like it, I never liked it, and there is too much fighting. On that regard, I think that the Wii version or Sonic Unwished, like some people call it, is better in the Warhawk portion. But on the speed portion, my god guys, this game is amazing, it has DLC, it has an, um, a, a lot of content, I like how Sonic behaves, I like everything, I think that it feels better on the... On Sonic Generations, at least on modern Sonic, but I really loved it. I really can't explain it. For me, it feels like a complete game and has an homage for the Sonic series as a whole. I really, 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 really loved it, guys. And I will still say that Sonic Unleashed is one of, of my favorite games and I feel generally, generally happy when I played it. So, yeah, for me it's getting an S rank, sorry, no one can contest this one, I love Sonic Unleashed. And if we are speaking about the Wii version, it's going to be an A rank and I will explain why. Sonic feels fine on the speed stages, there are, they are way too short, I think that it is has as impressive as the PS3 and Xbox 360 version, I really like it, I I prefer the Warhawk on this version, to be honest, but there is something that I really can't explain. Uh, there is something that makes me feel that the Wii version is worse, I really can't explain it, because they are amazing games and for me they will both be here, but I'm going to put it in A rank. I'm sorry guys, it's just that, I really can't explain. Sonic and the Secret Rings, my god, I I tried this on an emulator, and in, on a emulator, since you can change the controls and stuff, it's good, but I never played it on the Wii, and everyone says the controls are bad, and I believe them, it looks like a good Sonic game, but I bet it doesn't feel like a good Sonic game. I'm going to put it in never played. Black Knight, I tried it a little bit, just just a little bit. I haven't really cleared the game or anything. For me, the art is of an A rank or B rank, and I I like what I played. I think that it was enjoyable and everything, but I haven't played much of this game, so I'm going to put it on never played. Sonic Colors for the Wii, never played it. It might be a fun game. By concepts and, and gameplays that I saw, it looks good, but I really don't fall in love for this game. I think this game was what started the downfall of Sonic, at least for me. But then, Sonic Generations for the PS3 and Xbox 360 came out, and oh my god, this game was what made me return to Sonic. Yep, this game made me return to Sonic. While Sonic Unleashed on the Wii version and PS2 version made me feel good playing about uh, playing it, Sonic Generations for the PS3 and 360 was lit as hell, and I hadn't played Sonic Unleashed for the PS3 at that time, or actually any of the adventure games, so for me, Sonic Generations made a huge comeback. The story is not the best one, and the voice acting 
I don't like Roger. Sorry guys, I really don't like. I think that Sonic feels older than it should, to be honest. And that's it. But since we didn't have much story, I really don't have much to complain. It was a pleasure returning to some zones and experiencing some zones. Planet Wisp was really nice experiencing this since I hadn't played it on Colors on the Wii version. And I really like it. What can I say, guys? I play this game a lot. And I like it. And the DLC was fun. I really just had this. And this is a celebration of Sonic as a franchise. And I like it. Now, the next one. Sonic Last World. It's an average game. It's an average game. It's not a Sonic game for me. It's just an average game. And as an average game, I'm going to give it a D rank. I don't like the Daily Six, guys. I don't like the slow gameplay. I see what they were aiming for, but I don't like the slow gameplay. And I don't like this game. I'm sorry, guys. I I just don't like it. I feel like it is really underwhelming, and I don't like it. Next up, it's Mania, guys. Guys, Mania is probably my most favorite game of all time. So it is an S rank. I'm sorry. I love Le I love Mania. Mania had some problems for me, but then Mania Plus came out and fixed everything. I love Mania. Mania is my favorite Sonic game of all time. Maybe it is. It f makes me feel so good when I play it. Special stages amazing. The zones are amazing. Everything is amazing. Encore mode, it could have some changes on the palettes. I mean, I made a mod pack to fix that and had some different remixes. I think that if they made that, if they had the boss rush and the non-line multiplayer, oh my god, this game would be perfect for me. But it is, it is a celebration of classic Sonic and I really like it. So... I'm going to put it in S rank, probably my most favorite Sonic game of all time, at least it is the one that I'm mostly looking for to play. Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces. You know what? Sonic forces me to be disappointed. In terms of disappointment, this is an E. This is a game that controls fine. It's an average game. I'm going to put it in D, just because I am really disappointed with this game. They ruined classic Sonic. They didn't have a chaos boss fight. They had us. They ruined the story execution. They ruined infinite. Your avatar feels like Sonic. Um, Sonic feels off for me, at least worse than in generations. And <laughs> way too many things that you saw other YouTubers talk about. I'm sorry, guys. I think that the story is epic. The idea that Eggman won and you have to conquer things back is amazing. But it is so badly executed. My god, if I played this when I was 6 or 7, I would love the game. But not at this age. I'm sorry, I'm going to put it in D rank. I'm going to make a, a video about Sonic Forces in the future where I will explain how they could have made the game slightly better with only few improvements and that's basically it. So yeah, D rank. Now we are going to my childhood with the Sonic Advance trilogy. Advanced one. B rank for me. It is a solid game. It is for me the real Sonic the Hedgehog 4 and I really love it. I love the execution. I love the sprites. I love everything. However, it feels it feels worse. I don't know. It something feels off to me. Maybe it is the screen size or anything. I played this game way too much to be rational about it. So I will put it in B rank. I love the mini Shao Garden and the time attack mode, but I don't know. And special stages are my are one of my favorites. So I don't know where are the complaints, but 
I really don't, I'm not in a position to contest this one. Advance 2, I'm going to put it in. In B rank, I, I think it's a C rank. There are things that I don't like in Adventure, in Advance 2. I think Advance 2 destroyed Advance 1's formula. But it also tried something new and it is awesome when you played it uh, using your max speed. It, uh, it introduced cream, it, uh, it is a good game but some abilities kind of became useless. Why are you going to fly with tails? Why are you going to climb with knuckles on this game to be honest? And getting the Chaos Emeralds, my god, everyone, everyone, this is the worst game to get the Chaos Emeralds. So, it is what it is, when you are good at it, it's an A rank, when you are bad, it's a C rank, I'm going to give it a B rank. Sonic Advance 3. My god. Sonic Advance 3. Many put it in C. Many put it in B. I put it in A. I will explain because this is so controversial. Many people don't like Sonic Advance 3. Sonic Advance 3 appeared in my life when there was Sonic X on the TV. I played Sonic Heroes. There, there are teams on this game. Teams change the way that you play. Every team is great except Tails and Cream or Cream and Tails. Those are bad. Every single other team is is amazing. I love finding the characters. I love the lore. I like that you have a hub world. I like that you have to search the chow. Everyone says it's impossible. You guys are done. You can just go to the chow area and there you press select and you can see where the chow are. This is meant to be an, an adventure. It's not meant to be cleared in two or three or three hours I like this game I completed this game I got all the emeralds the, the final ending and it's a great game I don't care what anyone says everyone uh, this joins the best of Sonic Advance and Sonic Advance 2 for me this is my definite definite opinion I really like this game and it is what it is I'm going to put it here in A rank, I love it, and yeah, it's it's this. I really can't explain it better. Sonic Bear Battle, amazing game, amazing game, but it is on a handheld, and then you have to grind a lot. B rank, just for that. I recommend playing it. I like the game. It's a B rank for me. Now, Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure. I'm going to give my opinion on Sonic Rush. Uh, Rush Adventure, I'm going to put it in Never Played. I, I really never played this game, I don't know why. But I have not played this game. I have no idea. Don't ask me why. I just haven't. Sonic Rush. Great game. It looks good. For me, since it uses 3D models that are not that clean, it looks worse, the characters look worse than the Advanced series. And then there's one problem. I didn't finish this game. I wanted to finish. I didn't because it uses the two screens. And my, my god. I hate a Sonic game with two screens. I'm going to put it in Never Play just because of that. I'm sorry guys. I need to focus and find time to play this game. But for now it's a never play just because of that. I know, not the best thing, but it is what it is. I'm going just to put a Russian Venture here on E, just so I can grab more games. Sonic Colors, I actually cleared this one, I don't know what's my problem with two screens, but this one I cleared, and I liked it. I will put it in C, I don't remember much from this game, I thought it was a good game, so yeah, that's it. Sonic Generations. For the 3DS, I played it, only cleared it one time, and I don't remember much, but I remember liking it, not as much as this one. It has different stages, which is a plus. I will put it in in B rank. I liked it, but I don't remember much of it. Now, uh, Sonic Lost World on 3DS, I never played. 
uh, it is for never played, but I will put it here in E just so I can grab more games. Uh, it is just a way of organizing stuff. Sonic 4 Episode 1, I played it a lot on my, on my 2005 tablet, oh my god, why? Sorry guys, it's an E rank, I don't like it. Now, 4 Episode 2 is a C rank for me, I like this game, I like the co-op. Actually, I never expected to say this, but the co-op is fine. Uh, it, it has improvements over the first one, then if you add the Metal Sonic Saga thingy, it, it's fine. It's a C rank for me. Now we have the Rivals and Rivals 2. I like this game. I like it. I like them a lot. I'll put Rivals 2 in B rank. I like... I, I, I played this with co-op and, and interacting with other people, it's amazing. Interacting is an A rank, definitely, but since not many interact, it's a B, and Sonic Rivals is not as good as Rivals 2, so it will go to a C. I like these games, and I recommend, and I want to make gameplays about these games really soon, and that's it. That's just it. Now, uh, free Riders, ne um, I'll never try this one, so bye-bye. Uh, shuffle, never tried. Pinball Party, played. D or E rank, I don't know, I have problems with this game. I, I don't know, I just didn't like it, so... So I'll put it in D in E because I didn't like it. It doesn't mean it's worse than Spinball. Maybe at the level of Spinball. So okay, I'll change it to D. And now that I am seeing this list, uh, this list, uh, I need to change here some games after, but not now. Sonic Riders. I like this game. I think it's really nice. It's a B rank for me. Rider Zero Gravity, for me it's a step back, it's a step back, I don't like that they made it easier, it's a C, but then it has a story, uh, I don't know, I'll put it in C for now. Sega Superstars, it's a really nice collection, but it is not the best game, but I like the, what they wanted, it's a C. Sega Superstar Tennis, it's more of the same, it's a C, I really don't have much to say. Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, I never played. I will organize this later, guys, I'm ju I just want to put the games out and to give my sincere opinion. Saga, uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars, oh my god, this is, this is getting worse. This is getting way worse, let me, let me just put things right. I will put it in B rank. I'll put gravity in, in C rank, I'll put gravity in C rank, these two are C, and this will be a D, and never played this ones. I'll move them arbitrarily, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, we are going to do a little bit of exercise, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, it's basically Mario Kart, I like Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, for me it's a step in the, in a good spin-off, and then we go to Racing Transform, then, sorry, I, I really love this game, I really, really love this game, I played it so many times, now, I, I, played, I played it badly because I don't like racing games, but I really like, I like the creativity, and I, I really like a lot of this, of this game. Uh, let's see, um, Team Sonic Racing, I never played it, I'm sorry guys. The DS version of Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games, it's a B, I actually liked it, and I thought it was a nice collection, so yeah, it's going to get a B rank because of that. Now, Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric, never. Shadow of Crystal, never. I played Boom and Fire, Fire and Ice and it's a D rank for me. Sonic Lipster, <laughs> no comments. Sonic Unleashed on the Java phones, it's an E rank. I'm sorry, Sonic Unleashed. You didn't deserve this. Now, Sonic Jump. The Android version is a C, C rank for me. It has a story mode and it is quite fine, but yeah. 
I don't know. It is what it is. Now, Sonic Jump Fever for me is a step down. It's a D rank. Um, we still have some mobile games here. Sega Heroes, which actually is dead. Uh, it was a knee rank basically for me. It is a gacha game and I really didn't find any fun in it. Sonic at the Olympic Games, this game, this game was like this. First week, second week, third week, and now my opinion is it's a DC, it's a DC. It's a fun game but it lost its beauty way too fast, I'm sorry. Sonic Dash, I'm going to put it in B rank. I like it, I like it, and I always had fun playing it, it's not the best game, but I like it, and I'm going to move it to C rank, sorry, it's unfair to put it in B rank, and I'm going to have some changes here, so it is what it is. Remember Sonic Dash 2, Sonic Boom? It's just a worse version for me of Sonic Dash. Sonic uh, Forces Speed Battle, it's a fun game, I like it, it doesn't hurt anyone. So for me it's a C rank. I like with friends, but you can't invite friends, so yeah, it's going to remain C rank. Sonic Runners is for me the epidemic of fan service, and it's a really nice game. And then Sonic Rush Adventure comes up and destroys that. So. Yeah, guys, um, this is basically my tier list. Now I need so just to change some things here and there, and we will be good to finish this. So, looking at my S rank, I agree with all the picks. Looking to my A, I will put Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing one step above, and and then that's it really that's it for me uh b b rank looking at b and looking at c i think b rank is fine mostly yeah mostly fine and c rank also seems fine to me uh, maybe dash will go up in a position for at least for me or Sonic Run Speed Battle, but it will be unfair then. D rank, D rank is is right for me. It's right. Sonic Forces could go to C, but it, it really disappointed me, and that's my opinion. And Sonic at the Olympic Games, it is a game that it depends on what you think of it. So yeah, it's going to remain in D in the. And Runner's Adventure, it's not an E because I find I find the game a bit enjoyable. And E rank, E rank is right. So, yeah, guys, this took quite a while, but it is my Sonic tier list. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, yeah, it is my Sonic tier list. Uh, we have here some A and S ranks. We have most on the B and C side. The D side is actually quite big, and the E, and the E is kind of like that. Maybe the games that I didn't play are between the B and C ranks. I want to believe that, but yeah, this is my personal tier list of Sonic the Hedgehog games. I know it took quite a while, but. Now you have my ideas and I hope you really enjoyed this video, so if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, I will put it as an attachment on at the end of the video, maybe in the future, so you guys don't have to <laughs> see the whole video. But it is what it is, thank you guys for watching, it was almost one hour making the Sonic voice. But it was fine, and I hope that you enjoyed my tier list. Take care, you guys, and have an awesome day.